to my channel. For everyone who's new, I'm the Vegan Bolsa. Some days ago, I shared with you guys one of my favorite New Year's Eve and Christmas recipes, the Vegan Meatloaf. You can see it in the link in here. And today I have decided to share something that complements this dish, a gravy sauce. My gravy sauce, of course, is vegan and is very delicate and flavorful. You can add it on top of your vegan roast or vegan meatloaf or even on top of your oven roasted potatoes. The gravy sauce is always the perfect add to make your dish flavorful, comforting and even more rich. And before continuing with the recipe, please take a moment to subscribe and ring the bell so you can receive other video recipes in the future. And now let's prepare this wonderful gravy recipe. For today's recipe we are going to need one medium white onion, one carrot, one celery stalk, a half medium leek, one garlic clove and 150 grams of mushrooms. I'm going to use two kinds of mushrooms. I'm going to use some king oyster mushrooms and some shiitake mushrooms. Then we're going to use some black pepper, sea salt, some fresh herbs, thyme and rosemary. Then we are going to use some miso paste. I'm going to use hacho miso because it's very strong in flavors. Then I'm going to use also some white wine, 20 grams of vegan butter, some all-purpose flour or cornstarch if you want to make a gluten-free version and 400 ml of vegetable broth or water. Start by washing and cleaning the vegetables, the carrot, cut clean the leek, then the onions, and at the end one garlic clove, crush it and use it as it is. Then we are gonna cut the cleaned vegetables into big chunks. We don't need to cut them into small pieces or to chop them, just cut them in big chunks. Uh, they will release their flavor the same. Cut the fresh leek and the fresh celery, then the carrot and at the end the onion, the onion I'm gonna cut here in four or six pieces and then I'm gonna cut also the mushrooms into halves then the vegetables are ready we are going to take a big pan and we are going to add 20 grams of vegan butter. You can use also olive oil instead of the butter. But very important is that you should use medium flame at this step. And then we are going to add the veggies to the pan. We are going to stir the veggies and we are going to saute them for 20 minutes over medium heat. We are gonna add meanwhile all the herbs and flavors, some fresh thyme, some beautiful fresh rosemary, some salt and some black pepper. We are gonna continue to fry the veggies until they become golden and lightly brown and then we are gonna stir in the flour or the cornstarch in case we want a gluten-free version of the sauce and then we are gonna add the white wine. I love to add white wine because makes my gravy very delicate but if you wish a strong flavored gravy go for the red wine. 
we are gonna add the vegetable broth or even water and we are gonna let it simmer for 10 minutes into medium flame and then we are gonna add the miso paste which will give a lot of umami flavor to our sauce give it a good stir so the miso paste will dissolve completely let it simmer a little bit more until the liquid is a little bit thickened and then as a last step very important is to mash the veggies with a potato masher this way more flavor will be released into our gravy and the gravy will become delicious now the gravy is ready remember don't thicken it too much because when it gets colder the gravy gets a little bit thicker so pour the gravy into a sieve and push with the back of a spoon the veggies so even more flavor will be released then let it get the liquid a little bit cold and then pour it in a saucer and now the gravy is ready to be served with your favorite dish dear friends i hope you really enjoyed this gravy recipe and you will make it at home thank you for watching until the next time